What's good, y'all? Fast here with another video. Hey, dog. Today I'm gonna bring y'all my NBA um predictions for the awards, the MVP, the sixth man, the um rookie of the year, defensive player of the year, coach of the year, and the most improved player of the year for the uh, NBA 2023 season. Um, the playoffs are starting very soon. Um, the playing as we speak. Um, I got my bracket out earlier in the week. Make sure to go check that out on Monday. I dropped it, so make sure to go check that out. It was crazy bracket i'm gonna get it right we've been at the nba all season long we've had conversations of this and the titles and the games all this just some other uh conversations but let's get into it we will start off we'll start off the rookie of the year and i've said it in many of my videos i believe it's bancaro um jalen williams and Maverin, very good season you know ivy was very good too um you know, but overall, Ben Carroll was definitely the best rookie. He was really bad from three, although I think he's going to be a good three-point shooter in his career. It just it was he was in a slump. He shoot, shot, shot a lot of two. I think the manager cut going to be really good next year, but he's a clear cut. There's no there's no competition with him for uh, rookie of the year. He was by far the best rookie, uh, number one overall pick. Love to see it. Um, let's go sixth man of the year. I'm going to give it to my guy. I just think he deserves it. You know, um, Bobby Portis. I think Bobby Portis, you know, with the boards, the double-double, and just... His energy and the Bucks winning and his contribution, he can shoot threes. You know, obviously there's a lot of competition with, uh, I would say, Norman Powell, Malcolm Brogdon, you know. Um, they're both deserving of it too. Norman Powell got injured a little bit. Uh, Brogdon missed a game, Super Soldier Portis. I just think, you know, with the best team, I think Bobby, I think Bobby deserves it. I think Bobby deserves it. We'll go Coach of the Year, um, the Kings Coach Brown, the old Warriors coach. Now they're going to be facing the playoffs. That is crazy. That is lit. A well-deserved Kings, the most surprised from the NBA. Very deep, crazy. We'll see how legit they are. I do think they lose to the Warriors, as if y'all saw my bracket. But I, it's just because it's the Warriors. You know, I, I, I like the Kings a lot. I like Fox, and he done. He did a great job this year. He did an absolutely amazing job this year. So now, most improved, I'm gonna go to Lori Marketing. Lori Marketing um, over Shea. Only because Shea is just so good, and like he doesn't need that award. You know, it's kind of like comes from John Moran when he got it. Even though he's well deserving of it, I mean, he he wouldn't say thirty one points, but I think Marketing was well, Marketing is probably a more improved because Marketing wasn't like near All Star. You know, he's an All Star starter. Um, but Shea Shea was Shea was already really good, but he got he got really he got a superstar level this year. Um, Damn near top seven MVP probably for sure, but Lori Lori had a good year. I'll give it to Lori just for the fun of it. You know I like Lori, so I, I think Lori deserved it. I think Lori deserved it. Bad team with the Jazz did all they could, but okay. Now we got the defensive player of the year, and this one's easy. It's between two people, Brooke Lopez or Jaron Jackson Jr., and obviously I got JJJ. It's crazy. The one person that Anthony Davis wouldn't want to see, I'm making this before the Lakers play their playing game, would be JJJ in the whole West. Like, that's the one person he wouldn't want to play. So that would be crazy if that happens. But JJJ had it. Blocks was insane this year. Like, he's always been really good. Obviously, he gets into a lot of foul trouble, but hopefully in this playoffs he can lower that down. And then the MVP. This is where it gets dicey. If you're reacting to, if you're watching the reactions, I love the Jokic all season, but then this last month threw me off so much, man. And um, it's really close for me between, you know, Jokic was the, the whole year I had him, but the very last month, he's literally third in my thing. I, I have Giannis and Embiid in front of him. Um, it's so hard to choose between them two. The only thing Embiid is doing a little bit more is um, getting a little more points per game, but it's not like the effective points like Giannis and the wins, obviously, and he gets more better defense, more assists, more boards. Uh, better energy, you know, um, better team, better record, first, best record in the NBA, um, it, it's, I think Embiid's gonna win it, but I think I'd give it to Giannis, I really do, I think I'd give it to Giannis, you know, and Embiid just, I mean, a lot of people need to understand about the MVP award, it's also, because they always want to bring up Jokic's playoff stuff, and it, first of all, they don't want to bring up Embiid's in playoff stuff when he talks about, but he hasn't been out of the second round, he, Jokic has, you know, um, Anything in the East uh, uh, and be, but it's not a it's not a playoff award, bro. Like it's not a playoff award. Like it has nothing to do with the playoffs. And if you want to say an an MVP can't um be a three time MVP, right? Because he he's not good in the playoffs. But if that's your argument, like I understand what you're saying, but you gotta he could be the worst player in the playoffs, but he might have been the best player in the regular season. You know what I'm saying? So the MVP is a completely different award. If you want to make an MVP of the playoffs, you can do that. He can be the least MVP in the playoffs. But in the if he did it, if he was the MVP in the regular season, then he was the MVP, bro. Like that's it. But I, that being said, I have Giannis, but I know he's gonna get it. But those are my awards. Let me know your thoughts. Make sure to like, subscribe. We're gonna be covering the whole play and playoffs. I appreciate your support. I'm gonna catch you on the next. Peace.